But anyway, we have all these books saying Jesus wasn't crucified. But perhaps the most interesting, the mm -hmm. most interesting thing, raising serious questions about the crucifixion, comes from the Bible itself. Yeah. And I'm just going to reach over here and grab a copy of the Bible. Now, what version of the Bible is This that? is the New Revised Standard Version. Mm -hmm. I'm using this version because the translators go back to the earliest existing manuscripts in most cases mm -hmm. in order to do their translations. Unlike, say, something like the King James Bible, which uh, goes to a fairly late Greek manuscript. Now, when you say it goes back to the earliest manuscripts, is this anything original, or is this a copy of a copy of something Well, it's, it's the earliest that we have, typically. Earliest that we have. Yeah. So, but is this something original, something that is... Well, we, we don't have any <laughs> anything that was penned by the actual author. So nothing that actually Jesus is writing himself no. or Moses no. or any of these? No, we don't no, have that. We okay. don't have it. But first let me, let me read to you just a little bit. This is from the 27th chapter of Matthew. And this is from the old King James Version with which probably most Christians are familiar. And Jesus has been arrested uh, by Roman soldiers. Yes. Uh, and he's brought uh, before Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor of Judea, to stand trial. And we're told in Matthew that Pilate is, really doesn't want to do anything to Jesus. Uh -huh. And he sees a way out. He's, he's got another prisoner there. And he decides since the Passover is coming up, he'll release one of the two, just as a gesture of mercy. And he gives the crowd a choice, we're told in Matthew. And... Um, we're told that uh, this is, again, the King James Version, which is much older, uh, has a much uh, later uh, Greek text that it's using. And uh, according to this, uh, Pilate said to the crowd, Whom will ye that I release unto you, Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ? That's verse 17 of chapter 27. And later we're told that the crowd said, Give us Barabbas. Mm -hmm. And Pilate released Barabbas and Jesus, who is called the Christ, which is the Greek word for the Hebrew word Mashiach or Messiah, mm -hmm. was taken away and crucified. Yes. Uh, but now when we go to the New Revised Standard Version, we have something that reads just a little differently. There's a crucial one-word change. Mm -hmm. But to get the whole thrust of this, uh, I'm going to read a number of verses here because I want people to understand the context. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Notice, this is the charge that's been made against this man. Yes. That you're claiming to be king of the Jews. Jesus said, You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they make against you? But he gave him no answer not even to a single charge. So the governor was greatly annoyed. Now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. Mm -hmm. Note, Barabbas' name is Jesus. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Who do you want me to release for you? Jesus Barabbas, or Jesus who was called the Messiah. Now this is out of the Revised Standard yes, Version. Yes, this is right out of the, of the Bible, New Revised Standard Version, 27th chapter of Matthew. We have two people named Jesus. Mm -hmm. So who's who? Well, to answer that question, we have to look at two key words. Messiah and Barabbas. Mm -hmm. Now, Messiah simply means the anointed. That's all it means. Many Christians labor under the misconception that there was only one Messiah and that was Jesus. Are there many other Messiahs oh, in the many Bible? many Messiahs mentioned in the Bible. However, the Bible translators translate the term and they say the anointed. But almost anywhere you look in the Old Testament where it talks about the anointed, the word that's being translated is Messiah. Yes. Okay. But when they talk about Jesus, they don't translate it. Mm -hmm. They use the term Messiah or the Greek equivalent Christ. So, two people named Jesus. Who were the anointed of Israel? That's the key question here in understanding Messiah. And basically, we know from history there were three groups 
that were the messiahs or the anointeds of, of Israel. One, prophets, occasionally. Two, the high priests of Israel, or of Judaism. And, and we know that this Jesus was not one of the high priests because we have the list of high priests from Josephus. And three, the king of Israel, mm -hmm. or someone claiming to be the king of Israel. Yeah. And note the charge that was made against Jesus. Are you the king of the Jews? Yeah. Okay. So, that's Messiah. Now, what about Jesus Barabbas? Here's where it gets really interesting. Barabbas is not a name. Barabbas is a patronymic, meaning the son of so-and-so. In Aramaic, Bar means the son of. So we have Jesus, the son of Abbas. But it gets more interesting. Abbas is not a name either. It's a noun, mm -hmm. and it needs to be translated. Bible translators aren't quite willing to do this yet, so they keep using the word Barabbas. Mm -hmm. But if we translate Bar Abbas, we get son of the father. So we have Jesus, who is called the anointed, apparently claiming to be king of the Jews, and we have Jesus, the son of the father. Pilate gives the crowd a choice. The choice says, give us the son of the father. Pilate releases Jesus, the son of the father. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, the anointed, apparently claiming to be king of the Jews, is crucified. Now, any Christian listening will realize Jesus, the son of the father, sounds very much like the Jesus with whom we're all interested, both Christians and Muslims. Yes. And the Bible says he was set free. Set free by Pilate. This might explain why the Coptic Christian church canonized Pilate as a saint. Mm -hmm. You know, do you justify sainthood for the man who condemned Jesus or for the man who saved him and set him free? Yeah. Now, the fact that the person who was crucified, the Jesus who was crucified, was claiming to be the king of the Jews or king of Israel is uh, to be found in many places in the Gospels. We're told in uh, Matthew, um, that uh, on the cross, uh, Pilate had placed above Jesus' head, King of the Jews. We're told the same thing in Mark. We're told the same thing in Luke, etc. You know, so we have plenty of New Testament biblical information that this person who was crucified was seen as a threat to Rome in that he was claiming to be a king. وقولهم إنا قتلنا المسيح عيسى بن مريم رسول الله وما قتلوه وما صلبوه ولكن شبه لهم وإن الذين اختلفوا فيه لفي شك Salud.